Hi, what I'd like to do now is to talk about fair value accounting and as it's applied to investment properties. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use the example of a simple type of company, a real estate investment trust, which owns a, an office block in Sydney. The application of fair value accounting requires we need to determine what the fair value is. And the basis for doing this is to have a model and one of those models that we could focus on here is an income model. And so we have to forecast what the income is going to be in future periods, which is attributable to that asset. What you can see from the table below is that I've forecast the rentals out for a number of years. I've got the operating expenses for a number of years, and that gives me a net rental income. At the end of the forecasting period, I'm assuming that there is a long-term growth rate for net rentals, and there's a discount rate of 6%. Now, it's fair to say that um, I've chosen those numbers and I'm not going to discuss the, them in any great detail, but that is actually part of the problem of applying fair value accounting, determining what those underpinning assumptions are. So on the basis of those assumptions about future returns, growth and discount, what I can do is I can work out using a discounted cash flow or sorry, discounted income approach, I can work out the fair value of the property is 300 million. Now, if the value of the property in the prior period was $282 million, then that suggests that in the current period, we need to increase the value of the property by $18 million. And we would recognize that increase in the value of the property in the income statement as gain on investment property. What I would say is that what you can see from this is that fair value accounting in the context of investment properties is relatively straightforward, so it may look simple. However, that is remarkably deceptive because it's actually the accounting that's really simple, but the valuation is a lot more problematic. It's a lot tougher. So valuation is where the complexity starts and finishes, and that's where you, a lot of attention is needed to be applied. Thank you.